Hey everybody, we're at Massey in Old Town. A Starbucks just opened up there. But if you come here, don't go to Starbucks. Go to Coffee Bean, go to uh, Cafe Italia, go to Bean and Bagel, support one of the local businesses. They're right down the street from here. They're awesome. We're gonna go in, have a look at some prices of just different items. We get a lot of questions about what are the prices. We'll do some comparisons for you on just some of the items. So this is a popular store this is that a, popular a lot of store. the visitors come We're in to. Massey Hole Town, so yeah. follow along. Massey supermarket stores are found across the island of Barbados and as Darren mentioned this particular location is the Massey store in Whole Town and we do spend quite a bit of our time on the west coast so this is an easy stop in if we need a few essentials and not a larger shopping trip uh, but as you can see throughout the video Massey is a little bit of everything. It's not just a grocery store. There's a pharmacy, a home goods section. You can get exercise equipment. You'll see a little bit more later on in the video, but it is a good uh, one-stop shop if you are needing some essentials. One of the most frequent questions we receive is in regards to cost of living and cost of goods here in Barbados. So we wanted to highlight the difference, especially you'll see it within the grocery stores, of the cost of goods that are imported versus local. So if you are traveling or if you are wanting to stick to a certain budget, definitely aim towards local items and that will save you drastically in the long run. We would recommend shopping with local vendors or farmers markets. You will find uh, Cheapside Market in Bridgetown is a great option as well for fruits and veggies. Salt bread is a Bayesian staple and it is something that we have in our household nearly weekly. We use for kids lunches for sandwiches, uh, homemade burgers, and fish cutters. This hot food section is a popular spot during the week for local workers to pick up a warm lunch. headed over to my favorite section of the grocery store which is the wine section and for a small island they have a decent selection of wines from across the globe and one thing to note coming from California uh, we are used to our red wines being served at room temperature and it is actually quite common for red wines to be served chilled here in Barbados. As we make our way through the rum section, they do have Mount Gay Rum, which is a locally produced rum here in Barbados. And you can take rum tours, rum tastings, visit the distillery, and you can find a bottle of Mount Gay Rum at many of the local rum shops as well. Don't forget to pick up a bottle of Mike's Pirate Punch or his Rum Punch, which is always a crowd favorite.
tend to have a pack of these chicken patties. They also come in beef, uh, but it's a quick item to throw in the air fryer for either a meal or a snack. We thought these were an interesting comparison. These skinny cow ice cream sandwiches come out to about 22 US dollars, and you can typically find them in the US for $6. Many of the Massey stores do contain an in-house pharmacy, and one thing we have noticed is it's best to call the different locations to see if they have the particular medication you're looking for in stock before traveling from location to location. You can get everything at Massey. There's a whole home goods section as well. Uh, that's here. As you can see, washer, dryer, stoves, coffee machines, mats, pots, pans. pots, pans. So it's not fridge. just a grocery store. And wine fridge. I don't think we need one of those. Wine cooler, yeah. But now they have refrigerators. This is all new. This wasn't actually here um, a little while ago. A side note, all you locals, comment below and let us know what these hats mean. We're going to continue to walk through the aisles of the store and highlight various items that we come across. But if there is anything in particular you're curious about, any specific items, any staple items, let us know in the comments below and we'd be happy to do another video specifically around those items uh, and even encompassing other stores across the island as well. cereal is a treat in our house as it's quite expensive here. This same box of cereal is half the price in the U.S. had good luck finding different nut butters. We tend to look for almond butter and all natural peanut butter. Darren and I both love sparkling water and one of our favorites is the Waitrose brand found here at Massey. Mm -hmm. 
both cash and card payments are accepted. And one thing we learned early on is to always carry some sort of cash on you to the grocery store because the card machines might not always be functioning. Right across the parking lot from Massey and Holtown is the Chateau Village. Also keep in mind that in the parking lot for Massey, there is a taxi stand that's there. So you will often find chickens greeting you, but there's also taxi service that's available in this parking lot. It's right in between the Chateau Village and Massey. There's local vendors, as you'll see, that are, are selling different, different components. There's a lot of gift shops that are in the Chateau Village. And there's a host of other sorts of shops, clothing shops, there's some cafes that are in there. There's a, uh, there's a crepe location uh, that has desserts. We still have to try Cafe Charisma, um, but they do have a quiz night and their food looks pretty awesome. So uh, we're hoping to get there at some point, but quiz night is something that's really big in Barbados. And um, yeah, that's, that's something that Lisa and I have not yet participated in. You'll also find um, a real estate office that's here. I think there's a cigar store that's in there. And just a whole host of cute little spaces and beautiful landscaping. This location at uh, Massey Holtown and the Chateau Village, just keep in mind this is right as you're entering Holtown from the south. And Holtown is situated right on the coast. So the main road that you're looking at when you're coming into town is actually what's called the coast road. You can walk across a street and you can be at the beach. You'll be right by fantastic restaurants like the Tides, which is what you're looking at um, right now. Uh, that is a great restaurant and we're hoping to do a video on that at some point. So enjoy your time in Holtown. Enjoy your time at Massey. And, uh, and Chateau Village, be sure to check it out. Lots of good stuff there. Thanks for checking us out and be sure to subscribe.